for me, that's hard to accept. For me, it's easier to say that um, the danger is because things you do lead you to thoughts, and the thoughts are what put you in danger. What are the preferences here? So you have three preferences. You just dismiss the Gemara altogether, like the Rambam. You can say it is the deed itself, kind of like in doing something to automatically there's this distance between Yitzhak and Baruch which lets the Shadim come in. Or you can say that the thought process which you might undergo as a result of focusing on the notion of duality is what undermines you. So what do you want to say? So why is it Gemara at all? Is it? I'm sorry? I mean, if it's only in the thought, you don't need this Gemara. If what? People are only going to think about uh, because, because after they're using this Gemara about Zeus. Well, the thing is like this. This Gemara was not meant for regular people to read. The, the notion of Dafyomi, where everybody has access to all Gemaras, is a very recent idea. So this is the type of thing which you wouldn't tell people and what they didn't know wouldn't, wouldn't hurt them. But for Tamil Chachomim, the knowledge has to be retained. Okay. I mean, I'm a sad that the Zugus physics is not like Rambam, so it's, uh, it is true. Yeah, but again, since the Gemara ends, man the low copy, low cup dini may. I mean, if I, if what you don't know won't hurt you. Yeah. So. But then you are saying you only have to be. What? You only have to be Hosh. Yeah, but I'm saying but the, uh, uh, the Gemara has a. Um, the Gemara throughout the Shas is a repository of many different forms of wisdom and many different types of stories. And this could be a, a, a place where the Gemara decided, just like there are a couple of Blatt and Gittin which talk about all the medicines at the time of Chazal, a couple of Blatt and which talk about medications and medical treatments at the time of Chazal, which seems to have nothing to do with Gemara. But nevertheless, it's there because Chazal, the Gemara is a document which wasn't limited to Torah. It's a document which contains everything which a Talmud Chacham might use or might need. So, so to the same thing here with Zugos. I, 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 you're right. There's a kind of case, paradoxical situation that you shouldn't think about, but now it's in the corner, you're going to think about it. But nevertheless, you know, it's put in there because all these things should be accessible to a Talmud Chacham in order to know how to instruct people how to live. Right. The idea of, of, but like I said, people didn't learn, uh, pe- learning Gemara intensively and consistently is a relatively recent innovation. But we want the people, I mean, we're a nation who wants all the people to be education, educated in the Torah. So everybody's learning, and now this, even this Parsha, was Parsha, speaks about Shemitah, Yerevil, that everybody like, take, a, take a vacation. But not that they're going to learn Gemara. How are they going to learn? So there are many things to learn. Especially in Chomish, there was no Gemara. How, right? Uh, they, they can learn how Lacha, they can learn Mishnayas, they can learn Chom uh, Tanakh, there's many things. So it's about uh, his Yago that uh, in his Yago he made everybody know his Tumi Tahara. Well, that's practical Halacha. They weren't learning the Lumbus. They, they knew the Halacha down cold, but they weren't learning the Lumbus. Without, um, uh, without reasons, in the, without Lumbus, without reasons, it's not, it's not, like, it's not working. It's the Gemara, no, it's that's what you think. It's the Gemara of the same. Why? Well, the last half of the world is to the main. I mean, Tom Hoffman has to know the reasons for it. Yeah. Tom Hoffman. Yeah, we're trying to be everybody Tom Hoffman. No. No? No. It's a modern notion. Okay. Okay. Not everybody can be Tom Hoffman. Not everybody should be Tom Hoffman. Not everybody can be a shiver. What? Why, to, why everybody's going to yeshiva? Why are they going to yeshiva? Today or back then? Today. Today because we, that's the only educational system we have. A lot of people don't stay in colas. They get educated and they actually go out and work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think only more people work yeah. than actually. Yeah. Rev Dessler has a famous piece which, um, you know, you may have probably heard from me numerous times, but Rabdes has a famous piece in which he talks about the difference between the shita of the, the approach of the yeshivas and the approach of Frankfurt. 
And he says that in, in Frankfurt, the system under Rav Shem Shalom Hirsch what created a holistic uh, round, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we have broad horizons. Um, well-rounded, well-rounded person, right? And who could be, who, who could be a Reish Shemaim, who could be a Oiv Hashem, and be a, a fine Balabas. But not, not a Godot. They didn't have the curriculum for that. And the yeshivas, they had the curr- curriculum which would make everybody, pay people Godot. It was much more unstructured, and it was much more Gemara-based. The flip side of that is that it didn't work for the people whom it didn't work. It, it failed badly. As Chazal say, 1,000 people enter yeshiva and one comes out to be a posik. And the other 999, as Rodef Desla writes, Zamachir, that's the price. So we're in yeshiva today, possibly, as part of the 999 sacrifices which need to be made in order to produce the one goro. You mean 999 sacrifices, their life's going to be broken? Or? Well, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, they like, are, are they going to be good Jews who could learn Gemara? What? Are they going to be good Jews who could learn Gemara? They're probably going to be depressed. What? They're probably going to be depressed. I didn't make sure. He, he says, Rodessa goes even further, he says that uh, his, we don't want them to have even a secular education. Because then people will be able to be, get respected dignity outside the framework of Torah. We want to provide them with the, only the opportunity to get respect and dignity in Torah. And the people who don't make it, we want them specifically to get low-grade jobs, like shopkeepers or blacksmiths. So it, there shouldn't be an enti- a, a draw to go out and join the workforce, because the jobs you would get would be menial and not, uh, not held in high esteem. Better to speak with you. What? I don't know. No, interesting. It takes time. Okay. But, uh, okay. but now everybody getting a job. What? A lot of people now are getting a job higher class. I mean, not a higher class, but they get normal money, normal salary. Good salary. I mean, a lot of people who like people become doctors and stuff. Still, the people in the pillars of society are usually people who, who, who become like doctors or lawyers. I think those are people who get, get esteem in society. And uh, they didn't want you to be able to get that kind of esteem. But, it, but it's the Jews that recognize the difference. What actual society thinks, I don't know. What do you mean? That doesn't, like, I think within the Jewish world, at least the way that it is today, like, there's a very big difference in between the respect that people give to a gadol and the recognition that people get for being a doctor or a lawyer is it's a very you know it's not nothing yes but, but it, it, it is it's sufficient that somebody might give up the hard road of trying to become a godel ador and take the easy way out the specific case in Rav Dessler's uh, scenario was one in which in Gates said they wanted to open where, for, as uh, you know like um, a, a, an affiliate of the yeshiva they wanted to open a, a, a training degree for teachers, at the end of which they would get BAs and be able to go and teach in respectable schools and make a respectable living and be respected in the community. Like, are you? What? Like, are you? It, would, it wouldn't be like YU because YU is not just for teaching. YU is for any secular pursuit. Mm-hmm. They want specifically, they want to limit it to teaching. But nevertheless, what Dessa said, they shouldn't do it. Okay, because it detracts from the that perhaps one out that one out of nine hundred ninety nine who would have become a godel as a result of the alternatives will now go and become a school teacher. So we don't want to give them that opportunity. So the uh, um, the the, uh, 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 the question was why is everybody in yeshiva? The answer is because we need several thousand people in order to get that one goto. But we're so worried about the simulation. What? We're so worried today about the simulation. 
even through in, in a religious society. And you'd be worried about assimilation of what? I mean, so many people who just. So, some people think they cannot uh, tolerate like, to learn Sirius Dorian, right? It's hard for them. Right. So, send them half day one. We don't have good yeshivas for them, you know that. Sure, it's full of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good, but it's not a good situation for them. It's not a good situation. We don't have we don't have programs which are appropriate for them. I mean, I wasn't like I I said people then. I, I think they they actually have developed programs that are more. No, there's no. I mean, I'm not saying you're far between, but there are programs. Yes. That are more toned down. Yeah. But usually they're not they're not, not providing one. Okay, I see now why this what didn't get five stars on Amazon. The uh, it said specifically that people who have an otter box, like I do, have a hard time. But this first time I used it was very good. Okay. It's probably because I have this cord attached to it. Okay, so the um, so the uh, let's just go do uh, a couple more lines. So, um uh, 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 to go to sleep, kill it, say Why is that like going to sleep like going on the way? Can you focus on Adom Milvado when you're asleep? No, so that's dangerous, right? Uh, uh, to go out to use the bathroom is also called is also dangerous. You know, I I I, I always imagined, and I still imagine because I never actually looked up. At the time when indoor plumbing was introduced, there must have been people who opposed to it because it brings uncleanliness and potentially demons into the house, right? Because they're, they're in the base of Kise. So now you took the base of Kise, which is an outhouse, and brought it into the house. I never did the research. But I suspect that there actually there are things like, that say that. Uh, so this it does is get rid of it. Immediately, like, I mean, it, it is there, but it does get rid of it pretty quickly. Like, the, the, out, the outhouse didn't have plumbing, it just stayed there. Uh, yeah, you're right. The, you're right. The Khazanish says our, our bathrooms are basically, you could dive in our bathrooms. Okay. It's just a chumr not to, oh. because uh, they really they're they're completely clean. Yeah. Well, so yeshiva, but. Well, <laughs> hypothetically. So. So to to uh, the, the, it's a considerably it's a kind of also to go to the bad outhouse because an outhouse in, in fact was a place where there were demons and if you were the Rambam. You probably say, you know, there are criminals out there, so be careful. Um, uh, so the Gemara says, "Uvei so love, or Rava manik shui." Rava used to count the beams to make sure he had an even number. Rabbi Kishasi Khar Kasa, we drank one cup. Manki le ime tre His uh, his nursemaid, his step stepmother, would uh, give him uh, two cups, betray a day, in both her hands, into both his hands. And now we get so ki avishasi trecha. Right? When he when would drink two cups, his shams give him one cup. Kharkasa drank one cup. Makile Trey Kase. Betray all the give him two cups. So it's more Adam Khashub Shani. So based on this farna, we understand that the demons not like they don't just like um, Jews better than Goyim. The more Khashub you are, the more enticing they are to you to, you are to them, the more delectable and more so you are. But besides that, the kol gadol mechaber yitzur gadol mimenu. Any person is greater than another person. He has a greater yitzurah, and he has a greater danger. What he, the way he falls, is not going to be necessarily as dramatic as the fall of somebody who is not a great person. But any small fall for him is devastating, because he's such a such a high pinnacle. So therefore, they, they, they're, they're, frankly, they're out to get him. So the other chashuv is somebody which. Even if he falls a little bit, it's a great victory for the forces of wickedness. So therefore, if you are a great person, it seems you have to be extra special careful 
because you are a good target. Okay? Um, the Gemara says, Amarua uh, Asurakosus Amen Mishum Uga Zugos. Oh, why shouldn't 10 cups have Zugos? Because we spoke about that before. 10 is a good number. It represents Shlemus, it represents perfection. And then he brings evidence. Because uh, which we no longer keep, that in the base of Avel, they should drink at least 10 cups of wine. And uh, um, uh, if we are going to say 10 cups of Bram Zugos, how can the rabbis get up? That's something which is going to come to danger, right? Um, so Abel Tamnaya, even though eight is a good number, so it's not a perfect number, yesh by mishum zugos. Okay, I, I, I don't want to go further than this tonight, but the, uh, well, actually, let's go more the line. Because Rabbi Rabbi Huna Dami Tabai, Sholom, L'tova Mitztaref, L'ro'al Lo Mitztaref. If you have the word Sholom, then it, it, it goes to, um, it's the uh, seventh, uh, uh, seventh word in the Pasuk. Uh, so, so it sounds like he disagrees. He's saying that eight doesn't have zugos because it uh, includes seven. Right? Seven of those account. Okay, just so I want to do the next one. Uh, 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 zugos. Four has six has zugos. So in other words, again, everything where there's disunity. Where there's this disparity, so then that is something which creates danger and something where, which allows other forces in. Where it's, there's a unity, which is by the odd number, so then you don't have a problem. So we can go on with this Gemara. I don't it's already late. We can go on with this Gemara a different time. You really wanna, do you want to go on with this? You want to go back to. I guess so. We'll see. Okay, fine. Paul. Okay, was this helpful at all? Yeah. It was? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. What? Could you let me outside for a minute? Oh, you you want my privacy?